how can you connect with more of your ideal clients? There are essentially two actions you need to be taking, okay? One action is to be talking about things that your ideal clients are interested in. So your content has to be relevant for your ideal clients. And this is why I talk so much about the importance of content and the importance of practicing the creating of content so you can learn over time what is relevant for your ideal clients. So that's one, is saying something that your ideal clients care about, okay? That's related to your expertise, related to your business. That's, a, that's one thing you need to be doing. The second thing you need to be doing is distributing that content to where your ideal clients are. So you need to be showing up where your ideal clients are hanging out. And I'm gonna talk about online because this way you don't have to go anywhere outside uh, to try to network and try to meet your clients physically. You can just do it from wherever you can, you are, wherever you live and work or wherever you travel, you can always do this online. So, so that's the distribution of your content to the right places. So um, let me talk a bit about distribution and I'll go back to the relevance part. How do you distribute your content to the right places? I'll give you two of the, my favorite ways right now, the simplest ways. One is using Facebook ads. Facebook ads, many marketers agree right now, is the cheapest and easiest way to get your message out to the people who are most likely to, to want your message. Now, even though it is the cheapest and easiest way, it still takes practicing and learning. I, t I hear people tell me all the time, oh, George, I tried Facebook ads and it didn't work. Well, no, Facebook ads work amazingly. It works amazingly well for me and for the clients of mine who learn how I do it and practice it, it works great. You have to learn how to do it, okay? If you're interested, I actually teach a whole course. I believe in it so much, I teach a whole course on Facebook ads. But um, whether you're learning from me or from somebody else, learning Facebook ads is really, really worthwhile for the distribution of your content. And then the, the second way I mentioned is to trade with another service provider, another content provider who has a piece of content that, that they're proud of, that, that you think would be great for your audience. And same thing, if you have a piece of content you're proud of, they think would be great for their audience, then you can sh trade the promotion of it. You share their con piece of content, they share your piece of content. Everybody wins, everybody builds their audience at least by a little bit doesn't matter how large or small your audience is, you can do this kind of trade with a peer, with somebody who has a similar audience size. So that's the distribution part of it. And, but still, now that you've, you've, you're working on the distribution part, you still need to be talking about something that your audience cares about. If, you're, if you've got a bit of an audience, you're posting things on social media, but they're not responding, okay? People aren't responding to your content. There's one of two reasons. You're not posting it to the right people, which again, I'm talking about Facebook ads is better and trading with content providers who have a similar audience. Those are, uh, those are better ways to make sure you're talking to the right people. And then the second thing is you need to be saying something that they care about. If you're talking to the right people, but they're still not responding, I'll be honest with you, you're not saying something that's interesting enough for them. Now, it's, it, it, you'll notice if you say a lot of different things, some things that you say are going to be interesting for, for people, they're gonna respond, and some things they won't. And that's, that is a, a blessing because they are basically telling you to do more of the thing they're responding to and to do less of the thing that they're not responding to. So just you have to be honest with yourself and notice the pieces of content you're putting out there that are working and especially it's content that's related to your expertise and to your business. It's, people say, well, George, whenever I post pictures of my dog or my cat, it's popular. Well, yeah, but if it's not related to your business, that, you know, it doesn't matter. It has to be, it has to be something that your ideal clients are engaging with and is related to your expertise or to your business. That's the combination we're looking for, for content that matters, okay? So I hope this is helpful. Um, as always, I'll have more thoughts in the notes of the video, but just remember to ask yourself these, these, these questions. Am I showing up where my ideal clients are? Okay, for example, through skillful use of Facebook ads and trading with other content providers with a similar audience. Okay, am I distributing my content wisely? And two is, am I noticing how to create content that is engaging 
for my ideal audience? Am I practicing trying, creating content different ways and then noticing and then doing more of what works, doing less of what's not working? Am I doing these things? If you are doing these things, then you are, I, 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 I bet you, you are connecting with more and more of your ideal clients over time. As always, I'm open to your questions and um, I wish you well.